Hola YouTube, it is your girl Beauty by Lenoria across all my social media platforms. Thank you so much for coming and spending some time today with me on my channel. As you already know, please go ahead and thumbs up this video. Go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. And of course, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and share the video amongst your family and friends. If you get a free moment, definitely go ahead and do that. But as you've already guessed from the title and thumbnail of the video, you already know what we're about to do. We're about to do a battle of the bronzers, baby. We're about to go ahead and do the BH Cosmetics. This is their brilliant bronzer, and I got the shade Coco Cutie. And, of course, the deeper shade of the actual bronzer, bron bronzer. <laughs> from Physicians Formula. This is the butter bronzer, and I did get the shade Endless Summer. So we're going to go ahead and see... Hmm, because they both are supposed to give you that sun-kissed bronzer. It's not complete matte. It kind of has a little bit of glow to it, so it just gives your skin that effortless summer kiss vibe. The I've been hanging outside and drinking my water type vibe. So can you tell what side of the face we're using or which product, you know, is being used on which side of the face? Can you tell? Well, if you're ready to go ahead and see a head-to-head -head review and see is it worth your money, is it worth your time, buy both, leave both in the store, or buy one over the actual other, then you already know. Let's go ahead and jump right on into this review. You're my bitter one taking me home. For one thing, really do one. Okay, now here comes the Battle of the Bronzers. I've... I already had this in an actual lighter shade, but I went ahead and got a deeper shade. This is the Bravest Bronzer by BH Cosmetics. And I did go ahead and get the shade Coco Cutie. So this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And I did go ahead and pick up the new Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in their deeper shade. This is in the shade Endless Summer. And this is what it looks like. And it smells so good. It smells like summertime. Now you can go ahead and take a look at both of these bronzers and realize that this one is going to be a little bit more red warm tone and this one is a little bit more neutral but they both have that redness in them. So we're going to go ahead and see which one works how on my actual face. I'm going to take the butter bronzer on this side of my face and see how it actually works with bronzing my face and I'm going to use a Morphe E5 for this actual process and it is very very pigmented and it kicks up a lot of product. So let's go in and see. It smells so good when you're blending it out. Oh, this smells so good. And it does bronze my skin. I am NC45. Well, I'm the new NC46 in MAC now at this point. But this does smell so good when you're actually blending it out. And this is a pretty bronzer. That's pretty. See how it gives you just a little bit of shadow? So that's what it looks like with the bronzer on, and that's what it looks like with no bronzer. So I'll go ahead and use my MAC 140S with the actual BH Cosmetics bronzer. This one doesn't give as much kick up, but it is pretty pigmented. So let's go in here and do this with it. Hmm. They both look the same. See right there across my forehead? They both look the exact same. I do notice that I'm having to dip more into the BH Cosmetics one than I had to dip into the Physicians Formula one. But they're both still very pretty. Just something I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of. Bringing some color and definition back to my face. And to be honest with you, I'm liking the side with the Physicians Formula a whole lot better. So I'll go in here and continue to do my forehead. And it does leave like a really light sheen to it, which I think is very pretty. Yeah, I really, I really like the Physicians Formula one. I really like the Physicians Formula. But let's go ahead and see the ultimate test. Let's see how this actually works coming down my nose. And it blends out so beautifully. And I'm just going back into the brush I had my eyeshadow on with no additional product and just blending the eyeshadow into the actual bronzer. With no additional product, it's pretty. 
and it's not too warm. I thought it was gonna be too warm right here on my actual face, but it's not coming in too warm. So when it comes to the battle of the actual bronzers, hands down, I think you guys already know I'm going with the Butter Bronzer with Physicians Formula. And I'm happy that they extended the shades to make darker shades because now I can actually enjoy it. So I actually like this. Can't say that I don't like it. And I'm going into my CoverGirl Queen. This is their Ebony Bronze Bronzer, which I use just to give me just a little bit more contour. I'm going back into that MAC Cosmetics brush and taking just a little bit of it on the brush and just going back in here and deepening up that contour just a little bit. And for my skin tone, I have to be very careful how I use this because it's such a red product that it can go ahead and tend to make my face lean redder than normal and it just starts to look weird. But if you're a little bit darker than NC45, NC46, you would love this. So looking at it, yeah, the butter bronzer is gonna be a win for me. So the BH Cosmetics bronzer, it kind of did a little weirdness over here a little bit. Like on this side of my face, it emphasized my pores a little bit more. And the Physicians Formula side didn't emphasize my pores like that. So I have a little bit more pores and texture coming through. And I'm not necessarily a fan of that. And although it didn't look as red as the Physicians Formula, it came off a little bit more redder. So a little too red for my actual skin tone. Which is weird because in the pan, it didn't look like that. So yeah, for this shade, Coco Cutie, it just didn't work for me. So I'm taking this one back to Ulta. Okay, so if you've made it to this part of the video, you've had a chance to actually see the demonstration of both products and see how they went head to head. As you already guessed, as you already know, the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer is not a bad product. It's going back to Ulta. I've already told you that. I'm not keeping this. It's going back to Ulta. The thing about trying new makeup and trying new products is, for me, if I didn't have this, for me, I would have been okay with it. I would have been pretty cool with it. It's an affordable product that I can go ahead and get. You know BH Cosmetics are always running sales and discounts. You know Ulta always has a discount coupon for you to use when you're spending $15 to get $3.50 off your purchase. So it's absolutely no reason why you would ever pay full price for this. I would have loved this and I would have been like, okay, fine, cool. But the thing about branching out of your comfort zone and trying new products, Sometimes you have a product that is stands the test of your time. It's the holy grail. No matter what new products come, that product can't touch your OG product. But there are times when new products come or brands release deeper and or lighter shades of existing products and you have a chance to try it and you'd be like, I'm ready to step my game up. Like this is what I've been missing. This this is this applied and blended effortlessly to my face. We're gonna take the smell aside. The smell is just phenomenal. It is a strong smell, so if you're sensitive to smell, don't buy this, don't get this. This will not be for you, boo. But as long as you're not, don't have a really strong sensitivity to smell, or if you're using this type of makeup on your clients, definitely bring a backup bronzer with you, boo. Bring a backup bronzer with you, because you definitely wanna go ahead and just pop it open and let them smell and be like, Hey, this is what we're going to be putting on your face today. It literally smells like coconut and cocoa butter. It smells like the Bahamas. It smells like we need to go ahead and get a Delta flight to the Bahamas and bypass the hotel. We'll let them take the luggage to the hotel and go straight to the beach and be sitting on the beach with my ties and penny coladas. Oh, with the sunset. What part of the country are you watching me from right now? And that not just sound like the move. Like, that is the move, Chief. Let's go ahead and book these tickets and be gone. <laughs> but this, this just smells like happy times, great times, fun times. I am so happy that they released Deeper Shades. It took them long enough. I'm not even gonna lie. I started to be like, bump them. I ain't even gonna lie because it should not have taken this brand this long to release Deeper Shades. But... Physicians Formula is one of those brands that just 
but I had to go ahead and try it. Now, for those of you who are still wanting to buy from Physicians Formula, this is a go. Definitely go ahead and get it. But, you know, if you're still on that, forget Physicians Formula. Too little, too late. I ain't got time for them. It's other stuff out here for me to use. Then another bronzer that you guys may actually like if because i'm not recommending this bh cosmetics bronzer i'm not but the og hands down bronzer that i will recommend for you guys would be the nyx no filter uh bronzers i bronze with shade 12 and 13 mixed together because one is more neutral and the other is more red and combining them together throughout the year gives me my perfect bronzer in the winter time and also in the summertime, I just use a little bit more of one and a little less of the other. But if you are on that bump physicians formula gravy train, then here's an option for you guys. I want to make sure I give you affordable options in the actual video. But we've made it to the end of the video, and you already know. I don't care when you watch me, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, or late at night. Or, you know, going to pick your kids up to school, sitting outside, went on the school bell to ring. You know, you're just scrolling through YouTube. I am happy that you decided to come spend some time with me. And hopefully, you guys like this battle of the products that I've been doing, this series that I've been doing. So we can get in, fit hard, find out, meat and potatoes, done. I don't need an appetizer. I don't need dessert. Well, you know probably do want some cheesecake but <laughs> that's another video but hopefully you guys have liked this of course you know go ahead and let me know in the comment section below if you like this particular style better but as always thank you so much youtube and until next time have a good one